Today, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I know on how to use AIO bot. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another bot tutorial. Today, I will be talking about a detailed look at how to use and set up AIO bot V2 with Supreme included. This video is not sponsored, but I am trying to possibly get a group buy for this specific bot. If you have not yet joined my Discord group and you are interested, make sure to click the link down below in this video to join. Thank you all for the support on the Nike Shoe Bot tutorial. I got a ton of positive messages and support and recently been told to make this tutorial for AIO. All this information on this video is my personal opinion in order to successfully try to check out. AIO Bot has been around and is a beginner's bot just like NSV but a lot cheaper and easier to use. Disclaimer. Just because you have this bot or any bot does not mean that you will always successfully check out. It all depends on the speed of your proxies or your computer connection, as well as the developers who create these software programs to stay up to date. If this video helps, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any general questions regarding AIO or something I didn't go over in this video tutorial, please feel free to comment down below or leave me some feedback on this video. Anyways guys, let's jump right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Before purchasing this bot or any bot in general, I would do research and see if this bot fits you by reading the features and websites that your bot can support. To give some background information, this bot was created in 2012 with the first version being called All-in-One and recently updated and changed to the name AIO V2. The bot is retailed at a whopping fee of $325 and does not include the Supreme version unless you buy the feature to add on to it. The Supreme add-on is an additional $100 but is not required for purchase. Once again guys, this is a beginner's bot and is easy to navigate and use. This bot like any other only increases your chances into obtaining online releases but does not guarantee success. I personally believe this bot is good for foot sites since a ton of people have more success using the websites Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs. The bot does support all foot sites as well as Shopify sites like Kith, DSM eFlash, Bape, Easy Supply, and more. The bot also has a monitor page somewhat like NSV but it is a little bit different which I will be showing you later down in this video. Despite the $325 cost fee, look at it as an investment and learning method to have especially during these times of COVID. So guys, I actually already made a tutorial on how to use the proxies and servers and what like the best settings are. So what I ask you guys to do is pretty much go check out the how to use Nike Shuba NSB from two minutes and 17 seconds all the way to the seven minute mark. Um, that I give you guys more like of a detailed uh, view on how and which proxies to use and what service to use But I'm pretty much just gonna go over like the basics really quick with you guys So you guys have like a quick understanding, but if you guys want the full tutorial Make sure you guys just click on that video right there I'll put it down in my video description and then you guys just watch it from that minute mark that I told you guys But let me go ahead and just give you guys like the common sense and the gist of it really quick So basically there are two ways you can put your bot on it's either your local host Which is your laptop or desktop computer that you're using right now Or you can go ahead and purchase an AWS server or use Google Cloud Pros and cons using a server. Pros. Servers are allowed faster and you're able to use data center proxies which will help on releases that have Shopify websites since data center proxies are a lot faster than residential proxies. Cons. Using AWS server can be expensive especially if you're running the bot for restocks or using it all day for a specific release. When botting it's always recommended to the advanced users to use a server since servers are a lot faster depending on the RAM and CPU it's running at. But using a server is not a requirement. If you have fast speed on your internet connection as well as a lot of RAM on your computer, you're able to bypass using a server since your computer already has fast speeds. If you're a beginner to botting, I would recommend you put AIO bot into your local computer due to the fact that you're new and not too familiar with botting and using your server can get super expensive. Until you become more familiar with the bot and start seeing success, then you can move from your local host to a server. Check out this other video I made on how to use and set up ADO's server for the best settings which works for any bot, link down below. If you guys aren't too familiar with proxies, I pretty much just go ahead and talk about what a regular proxy is and stuff. If you guys want, you guys can stop really quick on this slide and read it and after that I'll go on to the two different proxies which is uh, residential and then data center proxies. There are two types of proxies, residential proxies and data center proxies. Residential proxies are just a lot slower than data center proxies only due to the fact that they have higher speeds But with these proxies being residential, um, they have less chance of them getting banned when you're using your bot and stuff With data center proxies, you can only use these using a server and they're a lot faster But they do have a higher chance of getting banned with that being said guys I would definitely use a mix of both if you are running a server for sure And if you're not using both then go ahead and just use residential proxies 
Proxies basically just help you get more than one item. I know there's a lot of resellers out there and stuff, so using uh, proxies definitely help you increase the chances of getting several items instead of just getting one item using your local IP address. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link description down below for the proxy providers as well as the servers down below that I use. But obviously guys, it's always good to use a variety of different proxies due to the fact that several different companies have either faster ones or connecting ones that seem to work on different websites such as foot sites or Shopify sites. So um, I would just try to use different ones like I said. And like I said in my other previous thing earlier today, I would go ahead and check out the other video that I made about Nike Shuba and I gave you guys like the best top um, proxy providers and stuff like Chai Cook and a bunch of others as well so make sure you guys watch that video if you guys want a full detailed tutorial on the proxies and servers and um yeah let me get straight into the bot now because i know you guys have been waiting for this so let's get started now so once you guys have finally decided you guys want to purchase AO Bot v2 you are going to get an email that looks something similar to this now above this is going to be my key and stuff so i'm not going to be showing you guys but uh pretty much you got to follow the steps is into downloading AO Bot. obviously click on this link and then inst install the latest .NET version if you don't have that. Um, usually, you all computers usually do since it updates it by itself. And after that, you want to go ahead and join on the Discord group. So the Discord group is going to be showing you guys how to set up some stuff and then do some of the stuff. So let me show you guys a quick example of what I mean. So one second. So here is uh, AIO bot right here. This is what's going to look like. You're going to want to message I think one of the owners in order for you to activate the actual key. You're gonna have the left side on the general chat, which is a lot of people that usually help each other, as well as um, having successful setups to see what you can do different if you are doing something wrong. Now, obviously, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys an, an entire video of me setting up my bot and how I usually do it, and then hoping that this will help you guys and educate you guys into setting it up in a successful way. <clears throat> so, once you guys download the bot, first thing you want to do is obviously go ahead and right click and go to Run as Administrator. Once you're done, you want to click on yes, obviously, and then after that, it's going to be loading up. So this is what it's going to look like once it is loading up. So it's going to look like something like this. For some reason, it was on my other screen right now. But <clears throat> pretty much, it's going to ask you if you need to do any updates. Like I always recommend on any type of bot and stuff, uh, make sure that you always have the, the recent update on your bot. Because if you don't, sometimes it won't uh, let you cop things. And it's going to mess up the entire uh, release day and stuff like that. So in order for you to do that or update your thing, you can either A, close out, and then double click it. And it'll do it by itself. Or you go into the settings page right here and then check for updates right here. All right, guys, so the first thing that I want to do and talk about is obviously the bot itself. So basically, the first thing that you're going to see on the interface is going to be task, billing, proxies, sensor harvester, and then copped. So obviously, the first thing that I like to start off with any type of bot that I use is always go to the billing page and then click on that and then go ahead and create add new. So once you get to the new one, obviously, you want to put in your first name, your last name, your address, your city state and zip code so and then obviously you want to click on the country so when you're doing this the state make sure you have capitalized and put two stuff so for example i live in illinois so i'd be il make sure it's capital though so it'd be il next thing is is obviously when if it's the same thing as your shipping address you want to click on same shipping address then once that's done go ahead and enter your card information on the top right uh you have amex cod discover mastercard or visa click on that one and then like i said um your friendly name for example i put izzy debit right here so that's what i put it as i see you put in your card card or your credit card number or debit card number and then uh the name of it on the card the expiration date the year of course and the security code on the back of the credit card in order for you to get several items guys i would recommend you guys jigging your address and i had mentioned it in my first video that i made for a nike shoe bot uh changing it up so for example lane l-a-n-e and then changing it to l-n or if you're trying to get several items too, I would recommend you guys go ahead and actually um, sending stuff to your friends or family using their addresses and stuff and then using several credit cards. Now, if you guys are not familiar and don't have several credit cards and stuff like that, what I recommend you guys doing for using on Shopify sites or sometimes even on uh, foot sites is going on to uh, privacy.com. So let me show you guys what that is. So privacy.com is basically a interface program or 
business that connects you to your local or should I say your debit card or credit card information and pretty much acts as a virtual credit card. So basically this is going to look at look like and then if you want um, you can start because it's completely for free to click on that. Uh, this is what it looks like when you have it downloaded. So right now I have my privacy settings right here. I want to be closing this off because due to the fact that it did show my information and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show it like this and then it shows you the recent transactions shows the declines that you have and uh, you can always make new credit cards to clicking new card or you can just uh, delete some so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and put yes but actually I'm, I'm gonna get that but you guys get the gist of it this is just like a virtual credit card you guys can do more research by going on to google.com and searching up virtual credit card providers I know there's different ones I know privacy seems to be one of the top ones that I use and a lot of people use as well so um, like I said having multiple debit cards or credit cards definitely increases your chances into um, obtaining several items if you're sending it all the same items into the same address there is a possibility that you can get your stuff canceled so like I say I recommend you changing either the phone number and the e email address on the account as well as even jigging your name so for example my name is Izzy I put Izzy my real name is Israel Ice R A E L or I can put I S R E A L it doesn't really matter just changing up a little bit so it looks somewhat similar so that is how you get several stuff obviously you also need consideration of buying proxies and stuff proxies is going to help you um go ahead and get several items as well and then um yeah so once you're done with putting your billing information right here um you want to go onto the proxies tab now obviously right now i have regular 12 uh proxies in here but in order for you to put new ones all you got to do is either um go to add new or then click on the list name so i'm going to put testing for right now and obviously guys i had chai cooked proxies um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quick try cook proxies mm. and then right here I have my data plan this is what the interface looks like for try cook proxies I had uh, bought in one gigabyte plan and I have 22 gigabytes remaining whatever so what I would do I have both residential and data center ones that I purchased so I'm gonna go ahead and click on residential for right now you can either pick on the everyday release or uh, the release day. I usually just click on, on everyday release, especially if I'm not actually doing on an actual release. And then obviously you pick a loca location or the region that you're in, or you can pick whatever. So for example, if you're going for Kith, click on Kith, Nike, Supreme, or Yeezy Supply, as well as Foot Locker or Adidas. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use United States of America. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on static. Rotating is a little bit different. I recommend you guys stay on static. The quantity, just for this prime example, I'm just going to get two really quick and I'm going to generate the proxies. Now, once that's generated, I'm going to go ahead and click on the copy cl uh, clipboard, go back into the bot, and then go add new. Oh, whoops. I already have it on here. So there we go. And all I'm going to do is go control paste. And then I'm going to put is enabled in the list. And in regards to the monitor proxy, you want to go set it to normal proxies. So once that it is activated, you can click on either what's it that you want, but to save some time, what I usually do is click on all white, uh, all sites. So once that's done and click on save, uh, then you have the go when you see the red light. Now, if you want to delete the red light, all you gotta do is click it. So they're not using it anymore. So now it's disabled. But if you want to enable your proxies and use them, just go like that. And now it is enabled. So what I recommend you guys using is obviously, like I said before, and I mentioned having several different proxy provider plans and stuff like that from Tricode proxies to Oculus proxies to any proxy plan, basically, that's going to do decent. Because like I said, depending on the actual service provider that you're using, sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. And then sometimes speeds are faster than others. So it's always good to have a different mixture of stuff. Now you're probably wondering, well, how many proxies do I need per tab? So usually it's three proxies per task. That's what like, I like to play it safe because sometimes proxies do get banned. So usually I just have like about, I set up like 10 or 20 different ones. I put 10 in each one. So for example, I created one with 20, two, and the next one would be 10, 15, 12, 10, 10, 12, 15. As much as I can, because obviously with the gigabyte plan that I have for Chai Cook, I only had one gigabyte. So I got to make sure I use that wisely and I can't mess that up. So basically, like I said, the more uh, gigabyte plans that you have with a certain company, the more proxies you can uh, develop and generate and stuff like that. So it makes it a lot easier. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about when you're done setting up your billing and your proxies now is a sensor harvester. So what sensor harvesters do is pretty much generating uh, cookies and stuff like that. In order for you to generate cookies, all you got to do is click on the play tab 
on a certain website that you're running for. So for example, on this one, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to footlocker.com. And I'm gonna click on a random shoe just to give you guys a quick example. So let's see this one. Air Max 90, okay. And then you wanna click on the product code right here, okay. Every single product code is gonna be either right here or click on the top of the tab right here and copy that as well. So for this sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one really quick. Now what I'm gonna wanna do to create a task and stuff like that so you guys can have a better understanding is obviously I'm gonna be running Foot Locker, right? So I'm on Foot Locker and I'm gonna be running the regular one for right here. So I'm gonna click on play. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna have this open up right here. On the top right, you're gonna have the AIO sensor harvester enabled. So we're gonna click on this for right now, click on that, and now it's gonna be starting. So I could click on start. Uh, then after that, it's gonna start doing its own thing and start uh, harvesting captures. So right now I have two of them generated right here. And this applies to any website that you're going to be using. So we'll, right now what is occurring is it's generating cookies right now. So when I'm creating an actual task, which I'm about to show you guys on that specific one right here. So this is what you're going to do. So you're going to have that generating right now on the side tab. You're going to go on to task. You're going to go to add new. You're going to go on to foot site since this is a foot site. And you're going to click on foot locker. Once it's there, the PID is this number on top. I already copied it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Uh, then when you're doing this you do want to click on your billing information but for this example i'm not going to be using it due to the fact that i don't want to get charged so once that is occurring guys you guys could click on guest as well unless you have a login information they can go ahead and use your email and password for the full locker account that you have on once that's done guys you want to be running either normal mode and then some on multiplexer okay the size you can click on any that you want so you can actually put random if you want any random size or if you have a specific size like me for example i want eight and a half so i'll put eight and a half so once that's done you want to click on several tasks that you want to create so i put three for this prime example for right now and then click save so once that's done i can go ahead and click on play now if it's not working it's because of the fact that the billing info is not there so i'm gonna make a quick random one so just to see if it works so yeah i can show you guys so for this the United States, there you go. House number, dun, 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 dun. doesn't matter, just do that for right now. It's just a quick one, testing, payments, card number, fifteen or sixteen digits. Testing, All right? Because then this will decide the number. Let me see. Yeah, name on card. Sorry. Testing. And you can either click check out once per website if you only want to buy one pair at a certain website, or if you're going for several, make sure you disable this. Then click save. Yeah, so it's actually not letting me create a fake one, but usually with the normal one, it would have gone through. And then to see your log pages, um, it would have been like this. And then it would have got through due to the fact that you have uh, seven cookies already on here. So that's basically how you do it. Um, like I said, you got to generate cookies before you go on a release date. So for example, if it's something is released on Adidas US and you know it's coming out in an hour, or let's just say at 9 a.m. or something like that the next day, Make sure you guys wake up about an hour or two before and then have your bot running and then just like trying to get as many cookies as you can. So the more number of cookies that you can, a better chance of your task actually getting through due to the fact that for some reason, most websites, you'd need cookies in order for you to get through. Especially nowadays, since you are uh, a lot of bot users uh, are getting uh, blocked and stuff like that. So it's always good to just generate a lot of cookies beforehand. So like I said, Busted tip and advice is going ahead and just generating a bunch of cookies and stuff like that for any website that you're going to be running on, whether it's Full Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Adidas, Yeezy Supply, or anything like that that are listed right here. Now, once it's done, like I said, it would have started already. Um, if you're experiencing some problems, you can always click on the log page right here, and it'll actually tell you if there's something wrong going on, whether it's the... Uh, it could be an error on HTTP, which means that it's trying to find it and it can't find it. Or someone will say product not found or out of stock. Leave it running because sometimes what happens is um, the shoe is out 
or on the website but hasn't been released for stock so that's usually what usually happens and another thing that I will recommend a lot of bot users if you're running for foot sites or any even Shopify sites I will recommend you guys clicking on um, so when you have like made your stuff you want to right click set task delay and then what I would do is I would run several different task delays so one would be 3600 one could be 4600 and then some can be 5500 or 11,000 depending if you're going for restocks and stuff like that too so make sure you change up the delays I know that does a lot to actually um, enable stuff like that and then if you are kind of questioning concerns on what your delay should be at or anything you, I'm gonna put this down in the description below but this uh, website right here kind of calculates like how many practices you have and how many tasks that you're setting up and it will give you like a certain time to set it as that so um, this is kind of like a cool little formula calculator that I got from one of my friends that told me about it so um, kind of gives you like a little information right here this is strictly for Shopify and stuff like that so it kind of gives you some good information so you don't get banned or get soft banned or your proxies don't get banned at all or whatever so make sure you guys check out this uh, website like I said I'll put it down in the description below to kind of help you out a little bit but that's basically like the gist of creating websites and stuff or creating tasks um, you can obviously mass change edit if you want to do that so if you got uh, either you are in a cook group and you have the early link you can go ahead and control paste and then after that change all site tasks to that and then click save or like I said um, with this AIO bot as I mentioned before it's like NSB it does have a Shopify monitor so right now for example I picked up these three items since I opened it and all you got to do is click on copy link or you can go ahead and create and run tasks so I can go ahead and do this right now but obviously I don't want to click that because then it's going to start charging me on my stuff so I don't want to do that and then once that's done you can click on save so just keep your eye on for the Shopify monitor stuff like that and it'll probably pop up and then just click this and then it'll be running your task for you and then um, regards to like the cop or the settings on your stuff uh, she's gonna show your cop I just got this again guys so please bear with me I know it doesn't show like a lot but I was also testing it to make sure that I am still in the process of um, understanding it because I haven't used AOBA in several years and stuff but I do have a lot of common uh, information on how to use this since I once used this back in 2012 and stuff like that and I actually have used it before but I didn't focus more on with cyber and NSB but I'm going back into learning AIO bot since I know AIO bot like I said I mentioned before is a lot better to use for um, sh uh, not sh well some Shopify sites but mostly foot sites and stuff like that so um, to give you guys a prime example that AIO bot does work I'm going right here going to success and this is just from the restock from yesterday from other people that use this bot um, obviously it was the Flint 13's ever stocked as well as the Royal Tool ones and this is just showing you guys a prime example of how some users on here are using their stuff like I said the more tests that you create the better chances of you actually hitting and um, yeah so AOBot still works guys a lot of people are always saying oh well it doesn't work as well well like I said before I mentioned this is a beginner's bot as well as an advanced user bot um, like I said it seems to hit a lot on foot sites and I'm gonna continue to use this since like I said AOBot has always been the one bot that got me involved into actually botting and me learning and stuff so yeah um if you want to set up your catcher thing do you have uh two capture key uh you can look that up right here to capture key so you're gonna click on this website i can put it down below you can actually register and buy in i think it's like five dollars per capture thing and then they give you like a key thing right here once you register and sign up and send it to your email address and once that's done you can actually go ahead and um, control paste and then test the key to make sure that it's working as well as your anti-capture key right here so um, I definitely recommend you guys if you guys are interested of in doing that instead of solving for captures to go ahead and actually do that because it's a lot easier and stuff like that you can also set up your thing where you can get the notifications on to add to cart and check out with the sound on you can also attach it using your webhook euro using your discord group which I don't have enabled yet but it definitely is a good recommendation to know when you guys actually cop something or you guys doing live cops on a YouTube video or something like that so you can also uh, notify your stuff using your email address just go ahead and click on that and click on your email or putting your information on here and then if it's a Yahoo Gmail whatever it might be and then click save the so, uh, Shopify settings you don't really gotta mess around too much with that but if you are I would definitely recommend you guys using normal mode, fast mode enabled, and then number of tasks. Uh, just do like three. Restock delays, I put 3600, but I probably recommend you guys doing about 4600. 
because it's just a lot better and then once that's done just gonna go ahead and click save now if you guys have uh information or account stuff like info like for example let me show you so if you guys are clicking at any of these websites and these are the ones that you have to use in order for you to um or if you have an account or something like here let me show you guys what i mean so for example undefeated you need an account in order for you to check out so you have already set up right here you enter your email your password and click save and that's going to be on here then click on save and they'll already have it on there so when you're running your account um it will go right to it now regards to the supreme settings i haven't really messed too much with this but i definitely recommend you guys having your uh delays really high since supreme lately has been using a um pookie detection pookie detection is basically trying to find if you are either a bot or a human being on the website and if it catches you checking out way too fast you are automatically going to get banned or declined on your credit card so make sure you guys are careful with that and with Supreme, you actually can use privacy up there, as I was mentioning you guys with a virtual credit card. You actually have to use a real credit card or debit card in order for you to successfully check out. And if you guys have a PayPal, you guys can go ahead and put your email and your password onto there. And they also click save and test if you want to. That way you have another uh, way of actually buying a product using PayPal. For only websites that obviously accept PayPal. Uh, you can change the language. I think it's only English and Chinese, I believe. So yeah, so obviously I'm going to click on English. And uh, then uh, that's pretty much it regards to all the settings for right here. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. If you guys have other options into buying uh, more proxies or something like that, I believe you can buy proxies right here by clicking it on the bottom right. And it will lead you into this website right here, um, which is affiliated with AOBot, obviously. They have different uh, proxy plans, which I haven't really paid too much attention to since I do recommend other ones. But um, you maybe you should give it a try if you want. I don't have a discount code for any of this stuff right now. I could try to get a discount code for you guys, but as of right now, I don't have a discount code for AIO bot or any proxies or servers affiliated with AIO. So yeah, anyways guys, this is pretty much like the quick, easy gist of how to use it and run AIO bot. It's pretty simple and easy to use. The interface is uh, super easy to navigate. And like I said, as I explained, uh, it's really simple to make. So if you're gonna add a task or something, if you have the Supreme attachment, as I mentioned, you can click on Supreme. Or if you have a Shopify site, you click on Shopify, click on the website they're gonna be clicking on. And then for example, Fear of God, you either have the early link, you can put it right there. Or you have the variant, if you're not familiar with variants, it's pretty much like the ending of something. So let me show you what I mean by that. So this is what a variant is. So I'm going to footlocker.com. Click on any random shoe. So for example, if I click on a size nine or a nine, oh, let's see, actually we gotta inspect it. I don't know why it's not working on this website right now. Usually the top right usually changes like that with the variants or you have to click inspect and then i believe somewhere in this thing right here they have a key or something like that where it shows hold on let's see sometimes the variants are on here i forgot how to actually check it i forgot i can't remember right now at the top of my head but anyways certain uh sizing that you have is going to be like the variants and stuff so if you have a cook group and stuff like that um they'll post it on your thing as i mentioned with nsb they have like early links and stuff like up here let me see where i can find it so here's like what a variant early link will look if i have it right here so for a size seven and a half on this specific website it'd be this number i would just copy it and then after that i'd go into the ao bot go to the variant and then paste it into there so that's going for that specific size that i picked and stuff like that guys so that kind of makes sense to you guys and if you guys don't have that, I mean, you guys can always use keywords. Uh, they do give you keyword suggestions to use for AIO bot, as mentioned before. You can either go to, uh, let's see. So you go right here, demand where slash setup tips. And then uh, the owner will either A, tell you how to set up and give you information on how to do it. Give you guys keywords and stuff like that. And then um, pretty much help you guys increase your chances of getting the item. So just pay attention to that, guys. Going into the Discord is definitely going to help you guys out. Check out pairs and um, try to try to use the right keywords. Because sometimes when you're using keywords, you can pick up something different. And it actually does affect everything. And you're able to actually check out the wrong items. So make sure you guys are using the correct keywords or using common sense into an item that might be coming out and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much the easy tutorial on how to use AO Bot. If I didn't go on over something, just let me know. I think I didn't go over the. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. So, um. One second. Hold on. 
So, for example, you can actually have open uh, captures too. You could use guest ones if you want to or add a new one. I don't really mess with this though since the capture harvester is already there. And usually I'm just solving captures as soon as they pop up. But, um, like I said, if I didn't go over something that you guys have questions on or anything like that, uh, please comment down below. It does help me try to help you guys out as much as possible. Obviously, guys, if you guys are new to this botting stuff, it's not for everyone, but it's also a good learning session to have so you're kind of familiar with something. And then um, you're able to buy multiple shoes and make your money back that you paid for the bot and stuff like that. So it obviously does work, guys. Like I said, I showed you guys proof right now that AO bot is one of the top bots for when it comes to um, foot sites and stuff like that. And I definitely recommend it to anyone that is new to botting just as much as I recommend them using NSP as well. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this was kind of quick and simple. I just wanted to do like a quick common sense slash video since I haven't been posting anything in a while. And I got a ton of requests on how to use AO bot and stuff like that. So to all the new users that are out there and are watching this video, good luck. If you guys have any questions, like I said before, make sure you guys comment down below. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this video helped and make sure you guys like and subscribe and share this video with anyone that is new to the botting. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.